Do you have to rehydrate your yeast before pitching? No, but a lot of times it can be super helpful. In beer making, a lot of times we use liquid yeast. That is yeast that is hydrated and ready to be pitched immediately. But in wine and meat and cider making, a lot of times we are working with dry yeast, and sometimes it's appropriate to rehydrate that yeast before pitching. Yeast is subject to something called osmotic pressure, and essentially that's the pressure on the outside of the yeast cell walls, and it's particularly important when they're rehydrating. If you're rehydrating directly in your wort or your must, the yeast are rehydrating in a solution that's full of sugars and higher osmotic pressure. But if you rehydrate in just water, all you're doing is rehydrating the cells and allowing water to pass inside of them. The most helpful way of rehydrating your yeast is to use a rehydration nutrient like GoFirm, because GoFirm actually brings nutrients and minerals inside of the yeast during rehydration, so they're already set up for success when you pitch it into your wine, mead, or cider. Using a rehydration nutrient when rehydrating your yeast is a great insurance policy, especially if you're doing something high gravity like a mead or a wine that is gonna be high sugars at the beginning and high alcohol at the end, because it sets your yeast up for the greatest chance of success in fermenting out all of the sugars, especially if you're doing a big beer like a barley wine or a dessert wine or a sack mead.